Hello guys, it's your boy Anomaly from uh, Sweden. And before the video starts, I just wanted to thank today's sponsor for this intro, Nude VPN. As you all probably already know, I was sponsored by them before in October when I went to Asia because that's the VPN I used while I was there. And as I said back then, Nude VPN are really good. They have over 5,500 super fast servers and protects your data while you're traveling and in public. So if you want to try it for 70% off, that's 3.49 dollars a month and you get a month for free you can use code anomaly on nordvpn.com or click the link in the description very nice hello guys it's boy anomaly from <laughs> and in today's video as you can read by the title i'm going to check out an old investment of mine and also i have a lot of new items you can probably guess what all of these cases are uh, five of every case i'm making another case opening so uh, wish me luck in the comments for all of these cases but that that's for another video. What I'm going to be talking about in this video is three years ago, almost exactly on the date. Wait, no, yeah. <laughs> Literally, exactly on the date. July 16th, and now it's July 6th. No, it's June. Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what month it is. Okay, so almost three years ago, I bought a bunch of sticker capsules and I wanted to see how that uh, sticker investment has gone because a lot of people ask me, every single major, when stickers are released, they ask me, hey, Anomaly, should I buy the stickers? Is it worth investing in the sticker capsules, player autographs, or the team stickers? Well, that's what we're gonna find out in this video. So these are all of the CSGO majors since the start in 2013. This major didn't have stickers though, only souvenirs. So it kind of begins here with the Kato 2014 major. Everyone knows that stickers from this major have become insanely expensive. But what many people don't know is that many of these other majors that have had stickers are kind of being slept on because they're going up quite a lot in value. I'm making this video because on the second channel I made one where I talk about my worst investments ever and items that I wish I didn't sell. In that video I also talk about one of my other investments, the Cologne 2014 major sticker capsules. Back then I bought stickers and sticker capsules for several hundred euro but I ended up selling them after like two years. That's why I've kept these Krakow 2017 stickers for three years and I'm probably going to keep them long because I missed out on a lot of potential profit by selling those Cologne 2014 capsules because back then they kind of flatlined in value but I didn't really have any reason to sell them. That's why I'm keeping the Krakow capsules for longer. But I talk more about this in the video on the second channel so check that out. But today we're going to talk about two of these majors. The PGL Krakow 2017 and the Starladder Berlin Major 2019. So this this is the major that happened three years ago, and this is the major that happened nine months ago. And I invested into both of these majors, and I wanted to see what uh, the return was today, basically. And if we get any sweet profit. As many people have seen from my inventory, I have a bunch of storage units called Investment Video, and one called Old Investment. Well, this Old Investment storage unit is what contains all of the uh, Krakow 2017 capsules. As you can see, it's quite a lot. Now, I did the math. Back in 2017, I bought 20 of the Krakow packages, which contained one of every team sticker, one of every spray, and eight of each of the autograph capsules. So I bought 20 of these packages. So in total, 20 of every team sticker and 20 of every spray, and 160 of each of the autograph capsules. I also bought another 140 of each of the two autograph capsules, Challengers and Legends. And finally, I also bought 30 of each of the two holo foil team sticker capsules, so a total of 60. So I ended up with a whole lot of items. 340 sprays, 340 team stickers, 600 autograph capsules, and 60 of the holo foil capsules. The total cost of all of these items was 354 euro because I bought it at 
at the end of the tournament when there was a 75% discount. And that basically summarizes the investment I made three years ago. Now, I haven't checked what it's worth yet, but I wanted to check my latest investment first as well, since we're going to check both of them. And here is my latest investment, the Berlin 2019 stickers. Now, here I bought a lot as well, actually for a lot more value than the other one. Krakow 2017, I invested 350 euro, but with Berlin 2019, I invested a total of 1,143 euro. This time, I focused much more on the holofoil capsules, because I noticed last year that those are the ones from the previous majors which have gone up the most. So I ended up getting 250 of each of the three available holofoil capsules. And as you can see in this storage unit, I also got 220 of each of the available three autograph capsules. Unfortunately, with Berlin 2019, I don't think there was a big set you could buy, or at least I didn't. So I ended up only getting one of each of the team stickers, just to have the full collection, and also some of the new viewer pass items, which are kinda unnecessary now. But I bought a regular viewer pass, and also the one pack with three souvenir tokens, just to see how they evolved in price. Now, as you can probably guess, the Karakov investment turned out a lot better than the 2019 one, because more time has passed, but I also kinda fucked up with the Karakov investment. I actually got bored and opened almost all of the Legends autograph capsules that I had. I opened a total of 282 of these capsules, which we'll get back to why that's bad. So here are the final numbers of my 2019 Berlin 2019 investment. You can see all of the numbers here, all of the items that I bought, for what price I bought them for, and what they're worth now. So as I said, in total I invested 1,143 euro, and now it's worth 2,273, just in 9 months. And these prices might not be super updated, I did this list last week, and also it doesn't account for the Steam fee, but it gives a rough estimate of the profit. And speaking of the profit, the profit is a total of 1,130 euro. That's almost exactly the amount that I invested. So, in 9 months, you've almost doubled your money with sticker capsules. So overall, this was very good. I didn't think it would do this good since it's been so little time and also so many people bought these Berlin capsules. But now for the more interesting one, the PGL Krakow investment. You can see that I've removed all of the Legends autograph capsules which I've opened and you can also see I removed them from here since I've opened them and now only have 18 left. But my total investment was 354 euro and now on the Steam market these capsules and stick are worth a total of 5,000 775 euro, which means that our profit is 5420.86 euro. <laughs> 420. With a profit percentage of 1500%. <laughs> now, these are of course Steam market prices, but I checked even in cash price, I still profited like 4000 euro. But this was still a really good investment, and it would have been even better if I didn't open the Legends capsules, then the profit would have been over 10,000 and euro Unfortunately, I opened them. So, is it worth investing in these sticker capsules and just holding on to them for three years? Well, I mean, in my case, it was worth it, but now that I'm making this video as well, I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot. <laughs> Because I know a lot of more people are going to do this for future majors, so you shouldn't expect to make a lot of profit from future majors, because a lot of people will be buying sticker capsules, even more than there were last year. But I just wanted to make this video because a lot of people are asking me if it's worth to invest in sticker capsules when it's major, and if you should just hold on to them, and if it's worth investing. And I would say yes and no, it won't be a super lot of profit unless you were very early, like 2017. If you do it now, in 2020, I don't expect the profits to be very high at all. I managed to do it last year and still profit a decent amount, but I believe a lot of more people are going to be doing it, and maybe it won't be worth it in the future. But thank you guys for watching, now you don't have to wonder what these uh, investment and old investment storage units are, which I have in my inventory. They're just uh, a bunch of old capsules, most of them. These. Uh, 
the Karakov 2017 stickers, they, they don't even look that good. So yeah, I'm just gonna put that back into the storage unit and uh, probably forget about them for another three years. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys when I open five of every case. Yeah, yeet.